Alrighty, we got the whole back section pretty much in. As you can see, we've uh, closed it off. It's not exactly how it was OEM, that's for sure. And you're definitely going to look back here and know something's off. But, uh, and we got to cut an access panel here that we can open and close, and that's to put the hose on for the uh, fuel fill. But, uh, got the access port there. Everything's closed in. I mean, she's pretty structurally sound now. Uh, other than I gotta just fill that top section in and probably overlay a piece just so again it's got more surface area contact to things but uh, yeah we're in a pretty good place uh, we've closed it off all there we've kind of attached a little strip from here to here to that cross piece so I mean should stop any deflection up and down not that it's gonna need it because it's attached to the main part of the frame of the car and and this whole substructure here so yeah we're coming along. I mean, pretty close. We're going to be putting this car on the ground. I mean, I got to find some fucking wheels I can put on this thing that uh, will stick out far enough because uh, I don't have any spacers and there's not a whole lot of room. Now, this thing isn't isn't centered right now. It needs to push over a little bit. And we have we have plenty in our, our mounts that we can actually kick it over. But uh, that's something I'm going to have to do just to center it left and right. Um, just a quarter inch it's out. So, yeah. Actually, it might be pretty close to center. I'm going to have to get the tape measure out to, to figure that one out. But, uh, yeah, anywho, I'm rambling. It's in. And uh, bingo, bango. So many pieces of plates. So much cutting with a plasma cutter. So much tacking, hitting with a hammer, and forming. Um, yeah. Yeah, if you want any more info on anything in more detail, just uh, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you. But, yeah, I'll keep it short. Smell you later.